good morning students after studying about the contour lines on the topo sheets we are going to start the new topic today that is settlements first of all we need to know what is a settlement let us discuss what is a settlement settlements are groups of houses usually in villages or towns where people live the size of settlements depends on the availability of roads railways hospitals police stations administrative buildings rest houses and so on settlements grow over a period of time students there are many factors which determine the location and the type of settlements first factor is flat and cultivable land settlements grow in areas that are flat and where the land is cultivable settlements do not grow on steep hill sides or marshy lands second factor is availability of water for agriculture and domestic purposes settlements grow in places where water is available in plenty for both agricultural and domestic purposes settlements therefore also grow on the confluence of rivers or the banks of rivers factor we are going to discuss which is determining the location of settlements that is about the suitable climate settlements usually develop and grow in places where the climate is suitable or pleasant to live in extremely hot cold wet or dry places are not attractive settlement sites students the next factor is the opportunity of employment settlements are formed where there are prospects for employment mines and industries in the area are potential sources of employment and encourage growth of settlements such places are usually near places of abundant raw materials for the growth of industries next factor in this row is easily accessible places by roads rivers and railway lines usually settlements develop in places that are easily accessible by various kinds of roads rivers and railway lines easy access to and from the settlements will allow movement of people and goods from one place to another place students as you have learned in class 7 also about the types of settlements one is the permanent or other one is the temporary settlement what is the permanent settlement and temporary settlement let us recall that a settlement can be permanent or temporary settlements that are constructed and occupied for a short period of time are called temporary settlements temporary settlements are built by people engaged in hunting and gathering shifting cultivation and transhumans tents and huts are the most common forms of shelter in temporary settlement at times a temporary settlement is built next to a construction site such as a bridge or a flyover however this form of temporary settlement is usually found in an urban area a temporary settlement can become permanent settlement with time on the other side when we talk about the permanent settlement that is a settlement people built permanent houses in course of time several such structures are constructed and a settlement develops the availability of water and land for cultivation are important reasons for the growth of such settlements in addition there is availability of communication lines such as roads railways and other facilities such as 
पुलिस स्टेशन अ पोस्ट ऑफिस अ हॉस्पिटल और अ हेल्थ सेंटर अ मार्केट एट्सेट्रा स्टूडेंट्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द सेटलमेंट पैटर्न ऑन द टॉप ऑफ शीट वी आर हैविंग थ्री मेन टाइप्स ऑफ सेटलमेंट पैटर्न वन इज द डिस्पर्स सेटलमेंट अदर वन इज द लीनियर सेटलमेंट द थर्ड वन इज द न्यूक्लियटेड सेटलमेंट इन द कमिंग स्लाइड्स वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दीज थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सेटलमेंट इन डिटेल वेन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिस्पर्स सेटलमेंट इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्कैटर्ड सेटलमेंट हाउसेस और हट्स इन दिस टाइप ऑफ सेटलमेंट आर फार अपार्ट फ्रॉम वन अनदर ऑन द मैप such a settlement is indicated by long distances between houses areas of scattered settlement indicate sparse population and the absence of proper roads houses or huts are usually connected by car tracks or paths in dispersed settlements cattle rearing is common as each household has cattle that is allowed to graze in the open fields also the land is not very fertile to support big populations so next is the linear settlement Le linear settlements are those that are formed in a line houses shops dhabas petrol pumps and garages develop along the sides of roads railway lines or river banks gradually these linear settlements grow in size these settlements gradually develop into trading centers if such a settlement is near a railway track and over a period of time a need for a railway station is felt then it becomes a railway stop when located on main roads such settlements become important stops for travelers as dhabas tire and car repairing shops and petrol pumps are set up on rivers and coasts they become places where boats can unload goods and passengers the last type of settlements we are going to discuss that is the nucleated settlements in nucleated settlements buildings and huts are in a compact cluster these settlements are usually found in plains or valleys this kind of settlement indicates that the community is living in an area where the land is fertile and good for agriculture nucleated settlements generally have a well knit and large community apart from houses essential facilities like hospitals police stations post office schools and administrative buildings are found nucleated settlements are also known as clustered settlements my dear students let us revise what we have read today we have read about the settlement what is a settlement settlement is a group of houses usually in villages or towns where people live secondly we have discussed about the factors which determine the location of settlement under the factors we have discussed plain and cultivable land availability of water suitable climate opportunities of employment places easily accessible by modes of transportation then we have discussed the types of settlement that is temporary and permanent settlement uh, in the last we have discussed the type of settlement on the top of sheet that is nucleated linear and scattered settlement students i hope all of you have understood today's lecture and go through this video two three times with full attention and concentration then any queries you can ask me on my personal 
नंबर हैव अ गुड डे स्टे होम स्टे सेफ थैंक यू वेरी मच